Hello everyone, Noxious here with another installment of my series, Machine Spotlight, where we take an in-depth look at some of the new and returning machines found in Horizon Forbidden West. In this installment, we'll be shining the spotlight on the Sky Drifter. The Sky Drifter is one of the 22 brand new machines introduced in Forbidden West and joins the exclusive list of aerial machines. The Sky Drifter most closely resembles an Archaeopteryx, a small feathered dinosaur believed to have been capable of limited flight. It's kind of like the evolutionary link in the chain between something like a Claw Strider and the Glint Hawk. Just like the Archaeopteryx, the Sky Drifter has large feathered wings that it uses to soar through the air with the help of some rocket boosters on the sides of each thigh. A long tail lined with razor sharp feathers also helps the Sky Drifter maneuver. It is still quite agile on land thanks to its long and powerful legs. Due to its relatively small and nimble stature, the Sky Drifter excels in its role as a recon class machine. A single large optical sensor slash scanning unit sits at the very center of the machine's head which it uses to continuously scan the environment in search of threats or prey. The Sky Drifter's primary purpose is to alert nearby machines to any threats, but it is also quite capable itself in combat and can be quite difficult to handle early on in the game. In this video, I will cover everything you need to know about the Sky Drifter, including its locations, weak points, combat strategies, and more. If you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with the Sky Drifter's locations on the map. The Sky Drifter has four dedicated machine sites, mostly in the eastern reaches of the Forbidden West. The first site on this list is located just to the west of the Karja settlement, Baron Light. Here you can find some Sky Drifters as well as a few Leap Lashers. The next site is located just northwest along the road on the way to the Utaru capital, Plainsong. Here you can find three Sky Drifters as well as some Fire Fanghorns. The third site is located directly south of the Utaru capital, Plainsong, just along the edge of the fields. Here you can find a couple of Sky Drifters with no other machines in the area. The fourth and final site is located in the hills bordering the western edge of the Las Vegas desert. You can typically find three Sky Drifters here with no other machines in the immediate area. Can't get enough of the Sky Drifter? Well, you're in luck because they are absolutely littered across the Forbidden West in different unmarked sites. Next, let's take a look at the Sky Drifter's machine catalog entry. Sky Drifter, a level 16 recon lightweight machine. A gliding machine that easily spots and tracks potential threats. Whether in the air or on the ground, it is fast and agile and can lash out with its razor sharp tail and wingtips. It is weak versus frost damage and strong versus fire damage. Notable loot includes Echo Shell, Metal Shards, Sky Drifter Circulator, Piercing Spike, Sky Drifter Primary Nerve, Machine Muscle, Braided Wire, Small Machine Core, Metal Bone, and Sturdy Hard Plate. Now let's take a look at the machine catalog entry for the only other variant of the Sky Drifter, the Apex Sky Drifter. Apex Sky Drifter, a level 26 recon lightweight machine. A hunter-killer variant recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. Similar to the regular variant, it is weak versus frost damage and strong versus fire damage. Loot remains fairly similar, with the addition of a 60% drop rate for Apex Sky Drifter Heart. Another key difference is the Apex Sky Drifter has acid canisters where the regular variant's sparkers would be. Next, let's study the Sky Drifter's weak points so that we can exploit them in battle. A single tracking container located on the machine's chest produces a spray that can track a target's location even if they attempt to re-enter stealth. Detach or destroy it to disable this ability. The Razor Tail is located at the end of, you guessed it, the tail, and is used as a primary melee weapon. Detach it to disable the Sky Drifter's tail attacks as well as provide yourself with a key upgrade resource for your gear. Two sparkers are positioned at the base of the Sky Drifter's tail and act as shock storage. Tear them off to collect the resource or shoot with a well-aimed shock arrow to detonate and inflict the shock state. Two boosters are mounted to the outside of each of the machine's thighs. These fire-based thrusters are used to rapidly launch the Sky Drifter into the air. They are especially vulnerable to damage when overheated. 
By the way, have you ever noticed each machine has their designated cauldron stamped into their metal plates? Look closely. Finally, a single large scanning unit sits at the very center of the machine's head. This acts as a primary detection device and projects a cone of light that reveals enemies including those in stealth. Detach it to disable this ability. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the Skydrifter's range of attacks. It has several ranged attacks including its tail spike throw and a burst of tracking fluid. Dodge to avoid its aerial wing slash attack. Watch out for its razor tail sweep. As well as its fiery pounce attack. While it's in the air, keep an eye out for its dive attack. You may find yourself stunned if you don't dodge in time to avoid its wing blast attack. Finally, watch out for its fiery phoenix attack that has a wide area of effect. Take everything you've learned in this video and you'll be clipping the Skydrifter's wings in no time. The Skydrifter can indeed be overridden, however you will first need to clear Cauldron Iota and then craft the uncorrupted version of the override using two Skydrifter Razor Tails and one Skydrifter Primary Nerve. I will now demonstrate overriding a Skydrifter in the wild. Let's see how it does against the Tremor Tusk and Thunderjaw. We're of course going to be setting it too aggressive. Look at our brave boy go! It's looking good so far! After a major upset, our Sky Drifter is down. No one could have possibly seen this coming. Type F in chat to pay respects to our brave boy. Let's make it just a tad easier and have it go up against an Apex Sky Drifter. And just like that, our overridden Sky Drifter is victorious. That concludes this installment of Machine Spotlight, where we took a close look at the Sky Drifter. Let me know what you think of the Sky Drifter in the comments below. Am I the only one who had a hard time with them early on in the game? That combination Sky Drifter and Leap Lasher site just outside of Baron Light is just cruel. I do like the Sky Drifter's unique design and somewhat steampunk locomotion. What other flying machines would you like to see in DLC or even the sequel? If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Horizon Forbidden West content. As always, I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching. Can this video be the first of my videos to hit a thousand likes? Let's make it happen in honor of our fallen brave boy.